All right, so today we will be working on learning how to use the grid method. So we will start by grabbing our sketchbook and starting with the title, which is going to be grid. So we want that to be in the top um, 1.5 inch uh, part of our sketchbook. So I will measure it on both sides. So on the right and on the left in order to be able to create a very straight line. If I don't measure on both sides, my line is never going to be perfectly straight. Once we're done measuring, we are going to um, put our ruler on both of those little lines and draw our horizontal line for our title. We will then be writing our title. So our title, as we said before, is going to be grid. So just make sure you have it in bubble letter, cursive, make sure you decorate it and make it good like a title. Next thing, there's going to be many different pictures on your table. You are going to grab one that you might want to draw and you are going to cut it all around. Once you have your picture cut, what we are going to do is we are going to have to glue it to the page. So we are going to measure a quarter of an inch from the top, so from our title line on both sides. So the quarter of an inch is going to be the first longer line on our ruler. So we will draw it on both sides and then draw that line and glue our photo right under. Once we have glued that image, we are going to measure another quarter of an inch from under our photograph. So you will still measure it on both sides in order for our line to be straight, draw little dots and then draw the line. Once we have drawn that line, what we're going to do is measure three inches down. So from that line we just drew, three inches on the right side, three inches on the left side, and then we will draw another long line across our page. We will then move on to the next line, which is going to be from the right side of our page. So we are still going to do a quarter of an inch. It doesn't matter if you have the spiral on the right side or if you have the edge of your sketchbook. What we are going to do is from there measure a quarter of an inch towards the top of that first line we made right under the photo and another one at the bottom. And we are going to make sure we draw a straight line going up and down. We will then go back to our top horizontal line and measure three inches going towards the left and we will do the same on our bottom horizontal line. And once we have those two, we will draw a vertical line again. That will have helped us create a three inches by three inches square. So we will be drawing that. Next, we will go back to that vertical line that we just drew and we will measure another quarter of an inch from it going to the left side. So another quarter of an inch at the top, at the bottom, and then draw the straight vertical line. From there, we will then measure two inches going to the left again. So we're going to create another two inch square on the left side of that three inch square. So two inches at the bottom, two inches at the top, and then draw another vertical line. In order to make it a square, we will measure half an inch from the top, half an inch from the bottom, and we will do that on the right side and the left side, and then we will draw both of those lines. Once we have our square, we can erase the extra things that we're not going to need but do not erase the lines to the left because we are going to create a one inch by one inch um, square next. Next thing, we will measure another quarter of an inch from that two inch square. And remember to do at least two little lines. So one at the bottom, one at the top, and then we will draw our straight line. Once we have that line, we are going to grab our ruler again and measure one inch going left of that line and we will draw our vertical one. We will then measure one inch from the top, one inch from the bottom, and that is going to be our one inch by one inch square. So once we have that, we can start erasing the extra sides and we will start drawing next. 
before we start drawing we will start labeling everything that we have done so under our one inch by one inch we will write that down under our two inch by two inches we will write that down and under our three inches by three inches we will write that down next thing we're going to label is going to be our image so we will start by labeling all the columns and all the rows so all the columns are going to have their own number so one two three and four and then the rows are going to be a b c and d so just make sure you write that at the top and on the side so one two three and four and then to decide it's going to be a b c and d okay so what we're going to do next is pick a square that we think it's going to be an interesting one to draw and just try to pick one that has something going on in it not a very plain one not an empty one because there can be plain and empty squares okay so pick one that you think has a lot going on so for example in my image the b2 square is going to be an interesting one to draw it has a lot of detail so i will probably pick that one to draw in my one inch by one inch um, grid square so i will write that down make sure you write it down so we know which one you're drawing and we will get started the grid method is when you have a grid on an image and on your paper and you use that image to help you draw very realistically so you will start by looking at all the little details only exclusively in that square so for example that vertical line starts at about a quarter of my square so i will start measuring that in my little square and drawing it so i see that it goes a little bit inward and i will draw that so next i will look at the next little thing so there is a little line there and i will make sure i draw it then there is that half quarter of a circle kind of thing that starts from the middle the half of my little square and i will make sure i draw that so you will do that throughout your whole square paying very much attention to all the little details and going very slow so if you have any pieces of scrap paper around you, you can even just grab those and cover up around that little square that you're drawing just to help you keep focus and keep track of the only thing you're drawing so your eyes don't move around that image way too much. So you can cover it up kind of like what I'm doing and focus exclusively on that square. So as you can see, now we only see that square and that square only and we will be drawing it once i have that square done you will see it in a second you will move on to your two inches by two inches um, square so what is going to do is that it is going to make the image that you see in your little squares bigger so once we have a one inch by one inch on an image we can transfer it to a bigger size paper by making it two inches by two inches so what i decided to draw here was our c3 square so i will make sure that i label it so put a label on it and then we will get started drawing that one as well i will speed up the video a little bit but what you're going to do is look at all of those little detail make sure you have them all in correctly it's okay to make mistakes just erase it and just make sure you keep remeasuring, keep going back, keep looking at the little square that you're going to be drawing and focus only and exclusively on that one. So once you have done that one as well, like the two by two square, you are going to move on, pick another square and create our three by three one, which is going to be even bigger. And once you are done with that one, you are done with today's sketchbook page. So good job.